Hi and welcome to the Techno Dinosaur Meets the IT Geek Vlog 80, 80. My name is David Logan. I am the IT Geek, the guy who takes the jargon out of technology for you, the Techno Dinosaurs. Based here in Annan, southwest of Scotland, UK. With me today is my normal partner in crime, Walla Nicol. So Walla, how are you and where are you? Thank you, David. Yes, to the viewer, I am called the Techno Dinosaur because I'm digitally challenged. I'm not good with tech. However, I'm also a personal development life coach, helping people with the stuff that may be troubling them in their lives. I'm based here in Trun, South Ayrshire, Scotland, UK. Love that word, stuff. <laughs> well, I if we can stop laughing. As you know, I, I go out walking every day and I listen to audios. It doesn't matter what mechanism you use on, use audible. Plus there was, I came up with this question and I thought, this is very apt for us, for you. What is the secret to contentment? Over to you. Thank you very much. It's very appropriate since my business is called Contentment Life Coaching. So contentment, what is it? Naturally, I went online and I do look at some dictionary definitions. So it is a state of happiness and satisfaction. It means you're happy with who you are, where you are, what you're doing, you're in the present. It doesn't mean that you don't have any desires or ambitions. It just means you're happy where you are just now. And I'm going to access a couple of quotes which I found many moons ago about contentment. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Plato, philosopher. Contentment is natural wealth, Socrates. Buddha, health is the greatest gift and contentment is the greatest wealth. You may not see a pattern here where the word wealth is used quite often. He is richest who is content with the least for content is the wealth of nature. Mr. Socrates again. And one final one from Benjamin Franklin, a US philosopher and politician from the 18th century. Contentment makes rich men, sorry, poor men rich. Discontent makes rich men poor. So this is maybe a metaphorical thing. Contentment is a form of wealth. The funny thing is, though, we can define it we can have our own opinions of it, our own meanings to it. And some people will say, well, what is it really? You can't go to Sainsbury's and buy a jar of contentment. At least not the last time I looked. And sometimes it's kind of hard to define. What I would suggest is, though, while it may be hard to define, you certainly know when you don't have it. So... Many people think life's a race to get bigger, better, fancier. And generally speaking, when you're constantly striving for that bigger, fancier, shiny new thing, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to be content. You're not giving yourself the chance to just sit back and relax and be happy with what you've got. Because you're always looking for that next big thing. And that absence of contentment means it's unlikely you'll be happy, relaxed, calm, whatever. The importance of containment is, I would suggest, very high. There are many benefits to containment, some of which I'll take from my notes. Fairly obviously, peace of mind. Containment brings peace of mind and a positive mindset. That means that when we're calm, we have peace of mind, we're able to be grateful for what we've got, except for what, accept what we've got. That doesn't mean you don't have ambition, dreams or aspirations, not in the least. But while you have these, you're still happy with where you are right now. I touched on happiness. Again, that's something you can't go into Sainsbury's and buy a jar of. And people have different definitions of happiness. What might make you happy might not necessarily apply to me. But again, if we're not happy, we know what that's all about. 
letting go of these unattainable desires, unachievable goals, being happy where we are, accepting where we are, being contented where we are, is, in my view, a much better place to be. Rather than becoming frustrated, upset, and as we've talked about, I know I'm anxious, stressed, and worried. It's also good for personal relationships. Be content with the relationships around about you. Not everyone will be the same as you, have the same standards as you. They might even disappoint you. But find contentment in the fact that that's who they are and don't try and judge them too harshly. Be content with who you are. Within reason, it doesn't really matter who everyone else is. Accept people for what they are, flaws and all. Contentment also allows us to distinguish between wants and needs. Something we want might not necessarily be something we actually need. We might want a bigger car or a fancier house. Do we need it? Possibly not. If we're contented with where we are just now, with the car or the house, that's a better place to be. We can talk about abundance. We've got plenty of stuff to be happy with just now without worrying about the next big thing, the car, the house, whatever it is. Contentment also leads to simplicity. We tend to see things more simply. We don't get stressed. We don't have the hamster wheel of thinking in our head, constantly wondering, what if, can I get that? Should I go for it? And so on and so forth. Instead of wanting all these things, be content with what you've got already. Be grateful for what you've got already. Accept what you've got already. So contentment, gratitude, and acceptance are all very important. Finally, the more thankful you are in the present now, the happier you'll be just now, rather than worrying, becoming stressed and anxious about what you might want but don't necessarily need. So as I said earlier on, quite a difficult thing to define. You can't buy it in a shop. But I think the vast majority of people will know when they don't have contempt or happiness or peace of mind. And one of the reasons I called my business Contempt and Life Coaching, <coughs> excuse me, was that during my coaching training and subsequently, my business has brought me contempt. And that was always the case in my life. But now that I am at this ripe old age, I'm a more or less contented person. I'm a much happier person, a less stressed person. So hope that's been useful to the viewers. That's my view of contentment. Thanks for listening. Thanks a lot for that, Robert. So basically, if you're content, I'm not necessarily content myself. We're all unique. We're all unique, but it's something we can strive for. Absolutely. To you, the viewer, I hope that answers the question. What is contentment? It's a wide and varied subject. If you want to go deeper, discuss more, speak to Wally. Drop a comment below, drop us a private message above, or contact us direct, if, assuming you're connected to us. So it's from me, David Logan, IT Geek. Search for the Techno Dinosaur Meets IT Geek. Subscribe to our YouTube series. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you, David. As usual, I'll finish by saying to the viewer, stay safe, stay well, and be contented. And always remember, have some fun. Bye.